got another question on the electoral potentials topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first okay so we'll make a start so the definition for standard electoral potential it's the emf or voltage of a half cell measured against the standard hydrogen electrode at 298 kelvin 100 kilopascals and one mole per decimeter cubed solutions Moving on to part B, so we need to look at the standard electrode potential values. So we can see this one's the most positive one. So this half equation is going to run left to right. This one's going to run right to left. So all we need to do is multiply this silver equation by two so that the electrons will cancel. So the overall equation for the cell is this one here. Next part, we've got to factor in the information about the water. So water is added to the copper two plus copper half cell which affects the position of the equilibrium and the cell potential increases. So if you add water, you are lowering the concentration of the copper two plus ion. So what that's gonna mean is that the equilibrium is gonna to shift to the left to sort of build the concentration of the Cu2 plus back up. That's going to lower this electro potential value because it's not moving forwards as much and therefore the difference between the two electrode potentials is increased and that's why the cell potential increases. So I'm phrasing my answer like this, adding water decreases the concentration of copper two plus ions, the equilibrium for the copper two plus copper system shifts left, the standard electrode potential becomes less positive and therefore the cell potential or E cell increases because the difference between the electrode potential values increases. Part C now, one advantage of using hydrogen as a fuel compared with conventional fuels. So you could go for something like this, only produces water as a waste product, or you could say there are no carbon emissions. And the next part, another way that hydrogen can be stored as a fuel for vehicles is as a liquid, but you'd have to include under high pressure. So moving on to part D, we've got the reactions for the aluminium oxygen um, cell. You'll notice I've written plus and minus there. So the most positive electrode or the most positive electrode potential is the one that gains the electrons. So we can see the way this, this equation is being written, the oxygen water combination is gaining electrons. So this is our positive electrode. Obviously this is the negative electrode. And if we remember that to calculate the cell potential or E cell, it's the most positive electrode potential minus the least positive. The number's in now, so the cell potential is 2.71. We've established the most positive electrode is the 0.4 volts. So we'll just need to solve for this unknown here. So that means that the standard electrode potential of the aluminium redox system is minus 2.31 volts. Final part, we've got to construct the overall cell equation. For the cell, you notice I've written up here, this one times four and this one times three. And obviously that's because of the electrons. We've got three electrons in this one. So if we multiply by four, we'll get them to 12. Likewise, if we multiply this one by three, electrons will get to 12. And then when we add the two half equations together, electrons will disappear and we'll be left with our overall equation. So that gives us that there. And then all I'm gonna do is cancel the hydroxide ions off the right-hand side and take this down to four.